watched it. So I watched WrestleMania. Well, I wouldn't say I watched WrestleMania. I would <laughs> I say I intended to watch WrestleMania, and I ended up watching like five to ten minutes of WrestleMania. Uh, it was seven hours, <laughs> also, so I, I understand why yeah. you might not have but watched so the whole thing. I, I, my intent was to see Pitbull, and um, and yeah, and then I realized that I the song Greenlight was like on a nonstop loop. Whenever anything was not happening. Uh, you heard Pitbull and or Lunch Money Lewis and or Flo Rida <laughs> rapping about yeah, the I mean, green light it was, for wrestling. It was, they played it so many times in the lead up that I started to get Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> well, and... again, well, again, okay, his occasionally, I will say it depends, like, like that, I, I get what you're saying, because like I've also had that one stuck in my head and I didn't completely mind as far as like his songs, but I guess I've always, I guess I had I, I I've had long term Stockholm syndrome with Pitbull in general, where I just kind of accepted him, you know, and that uh, he understands that music is only ten percent music. <laughs> it is it is ninety <laughs> plus percent business. Uh, yeah, so music. right. So the thing was like they kept they kept playing it just an absurd amount, and then Pitbull actually performed, quote unquote performed. It was they lip synced. Like they shouted over there. Like, like even if they there were things coming out of their mouths, the track was playing too. Right. So it was weird. I'm not even I'm not even sure what you call that. It was like well, it was like so you know how they they usually have the guide vocal where they can dial it. Oh yeah, up but down. this was like this right, was this was like just way the, more the than track. A guide vocal. This was, it was like the track playing off iTunes, and they're like, oh, we didn't bring a track, but you got iTunes, right? <laughs> I'm Pitbull. So, oh, okay. So, Mr. Inter- Worldwide. So, some interesting. So, so, uh, so the only other thing I can think of as far as uh, WrestleMania and Pitbull that we really need to mention is, um, it was an it was announced that he was going to be doing a medley, and they announced it was going to be with Lunch Money Lewis and Flo Rida, and you're like, so like a medley of that one hit song. Those guys are. Oh no, and Skip Marley, which or maybe it's uh, I, I, that might be the wrong Marley. I'm not sure. Which, whichever Marley. It's a different Marley. It's um, not you're right. Skip, it's not Skip. But I'm Skip, not sure Skip who. just did something else that was also equally it's dumb. The one who did options. Right. Well, which just... yeah, this is a, so <laughs> yes. Um, so uh, he's yeah. not, and he's not talking about uh, financial. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's uh, the well, the the narrative of the story is, I have options, but you are the top one. So if it's not a problem, <laughs> could I get some of your love? So basically, can we... Yeah, it's like the least kind of... romantic. <laughs> right, it's like simultaneously as sleazy as possible, but as also like PG as possible, but also Cause, like... Because uh, Raston's PG now, but also in like anyone. Make it sound... Oh yeah, so Pitbull... Um... All right, that was like the tone of all of Pitbull songs, right? They're like, sim- like he uh, earlier on he oh god, it's gonna turn into a half Pitbull episode. That's fine. Um, it's fine. People, there's a lot to talk about. It's always Pitbull. good to talk about Pitbull. Um, but so like, so, uh, right? So like that song is a perfect example of his his kind of tone. Which, but I also noticed from it how like the language earlier on, like, well, okay, first of all, earliest on uh, it was Spanish, right? Like Pitbull started off mostly. Like it, rapping in Spanish. Then he started rapping uh, more in like it was like half and half, or there would be like an English version, Spanish version, and then it kind of hit this point where like it was kind of half and half. But like he was, it was kind, he was kind of like an R-rated rapper for a while, you know. Like at least that seemed to be the angle. Well, until I think he started getting the big sponsorships and stuff, and then they kind of, I mean, there were like you know radio edits and stuff, obviously like the explicit version and the clean well, version. Well, it's a, it's funny that you point that out, right? So to go back to the fact that they were just on WrestleMania. And and the WWE is, is PG now and everything, right? The thing that cracked me up was every time they have that line, you know the kind of cargo that I transport, right? Because <laughs> I'm like, that's PG. Yes. Right? <laughs> Talking about your drug trafficking. If you don't, if you well, that see, if you know, then you know. But they didn't say it, so it's okay. Like it's uh, technically, uh, well, yeah. So like, uh, but so similar is like uh, the. Like early early Pitbull songs were just like it, it, we get it you gonna fuck like we get it like literally that one where he's doing all the uh, sorry it's not the one there's, in, there's several songs where he does counting there's a lot of songs yeah there are I was like you know the one where he does the counting like no that's not specific enough the one I'm thinking of <laughs> is uh, hotel room service because there's this whole rhyming and counting where he's like one two I'm gonna undress you oh, no it's, it's <laughs> See, I can never get the rhyme right because it's like it doesn't even. It's so dumb. It doesn't work. It's oh no, no, so sorry. It's, no, right? He's like what? No, it's slower counting. It's like one, one, 
fuck, how does it go? I don't know, whatever. The point is, he says he's going to undress you, and you're going to undress him, blah, 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 blah. And when he gets to four, there are these, like, we're going to freak some more? Like, <laughs> you guys with all that rhymes. But again, at least he was, like, like he was more, there's more describing things that are happening before in and or around sex. And now he's had to mellow it out so much because he's fully, like, Mr. Worldwide, meaning Mr. Like all audiences of all ages. There's like just like these little hints in there. Like there's uh, some song where he, you know, it'll be like, uh, you know, where he's like face down, ass up. That's the way we like to what? Like we know what it is. We right. know that that's what that's the way you like to. Like everyone knows that song since like decades ago. So like you're referencing, so you're just, but you have to rep. So that's what it is. You just, I mean, it, and there's already a lot of references to other people's songs as it is. So you just add more. So you just reference the stuff that you're, I guess, at least seemingly a, a mature audience. All right, let's get back. Well, to... he's not allowed to uh, cross state lines due to the kind of cargo that he gets. <laughs> <for. laughs> that's true. Because they know the kind of oh, cargo that. Oh, he before gets. I, before I forget, the other thing was they said it was going to be a medley, and it is not a medley when you play half a song and then you play another song. It, was it really half though? It was, I mean, or maybe it was those, all of. It, it seemed like it could have been the full song. It wasn't one you're of those. Right. Two, it I have wasn't no like the telling. Super Bowl where you're like they cut that song short. It's like that sounded like the full song. How long is? Uh... I mean, look, because when you're in the club, right? You know, there's never dead air. It was definitely at least as That's much true. as they played. But it's the club. like a. It looks like it's a four minute song. I felt like maybe you know honestly, I would have no way to tell unless we timed it. Unless I list, no, unless I like watched it and simultaneously watched the real <laughs> thing. Because like, I don't know how many verses are in that song and how many times would I've listened to to like try to remember. Anyway, Stephen Marley. The point is, that's, all they played that's, was that's the one by the way. The exact two. They're like, ooh, they're gonna play some. You know, they're gonna play Greenlight, obviously. But what else are they gonna play? Who knows? I mean, you know exactly what it is because you can tell by if they name who's appearing with Pitbull. Uh, it's basically they telling did, you a they set also list. did put out a. Uh, press like i don't know if it's press release but it was on the website like right. a couple days before yeah and they basically said and that was when we were like how can it be a medley if it's like <laughs> right, only yeah. two songs and you know what they're gonna do because it's uh whichever marley and uh flow rider and lunch money um all right so yeah pitbull and wrestlemania also <laughs> appropriate because like we discussed how Pitbull is to music what WWE is to wrestling, right? <laughs> like, like yeah, that's wrestling. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's, it's, sure. Right. A lot of times you say when you say wrestling, people think pro wrestling. Right. A lot of times you say music, people think pitbull. It's like <laughs> neither one's necessarily right, but uh, I get it. Yeah, I get why you would think that. 